In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily record your computer screen using VLC and it's free because VLC is open source and it's available for Windows, Mac and Linux. Hi, my name is David from FreelancerInsights.com and if this is your first time, kindly consider subscribing. Now I've already walked you through another tutorial on VLC, but this one is going to be straightforward. So let's jump into VLC. So I'll just open up VLC, uh, VLC Media Player. And uh, once we open up VLC, uh, the process is simple. And I'll just like to say, when you use this method, the unfortunate part of it is that you're not going to get the audio file to that particular uh, video. So it's just doing a screen recording using VLC without audio. So there's, there's another way that you can do it with audio, but it also has its own downside in that the video comes out upside down. So once VLC is open, just click on media, open capture device. And once you have this selected, you'll need to select right click, uh, just click on this and select desktop. And once you select that, you'll need to select the desired frame rate for the capture. So this is uh, how many frames per second. So some of the times you may go with 24, but let's go with 30 frames per second. And you can check out all other options that are available. Uh, so play media uh, synchronously, extra audio file. I don't want that. So once you do that, just click on this drop down and click on convert. And once you click on convert, uh, you're going to need to uh, check on your settings. So we need the video H264 plus MP3. But the unfortunate thing is that it doesn't record uh, the audio. I'm not sure why, because uh, all uh, everything is, is, is ticked. I'm not really sure why it doesn't do that, but uh, that should not be an issue if all you want to do is just make the recording to show somebody something uh, that is, let's say 30 seconds, one, one minute without uh, any need to uh, explain anything. So the, the final step is you need to select the destination file. So let's say uh, browse on that and let's say we go to, let's go to documents. Let's say we go to this. Do VLC record a screen record, record. Now click on save. And once you're satisfied with all the settings that you have to set, just click on start. And once I click on start, the uh, timeline preview down here is going to start moving. And then you'll see uh, the timer going on here, showing that, that, that your recording is ongoing. So let's click on start. And there we have it. And uh, it's already begun recording. Uh, you screen recording so you can even decide to minimize uh, VLC and uh, open up anything else that you've got. Let's say something like this, uh, minimize it, show anything that you wanted to show, click on this, go up and down, show whatever you wanted to show from your screen recording. And once you're satisfied uh, with your recording, just come back to VLC. And since it's still running, just come down and click on stop. Once you click on stop, everything stops. Uh, and uh, you'll not see any other movement. And uh, if we decide to go to our section on uh, documents and check out the file that we just uh, uh, recorded using VLC, Google to SRT, just double click on it, VLC screen record, uh, you'll notice that it's about 30 seconds uh, and you'll see the size and the dimensions. And if I double click on it, So there it is, started recording, just maximize it. I minimized it uh, and decided to show you some few things. Let's say I was explaining something, uh, opened uh, the menu, uh, decided to show somebody something else. So basically that's how it works. Uh, unfortunately, there is an issue with uh, the VLC uh, audio codec, uh, so it doesn't play the audio as it should. So that's the uh, 
only issue that I find with this method, but it's a, a quick, easy and free way for you to record your screen, share with somebody, maybe you're explaining something and get your information passed across. It really doesn't have to be that complicated. Uh, just share your message, show something. And I hope that this tutorial is going to help someone. Thank you for watching. And until next time, stay creative.